Absolutely. I think not only me, but uh, anyone who lived in Afghanistan during the Taliban time remember, especially women, uh, remember how uh, extreme uh, the Taliban were when it comes to the women civil uh, and, and human rights, not only to the women, but to everyone. But I guess that being said, you always talk to the people that you extremely have oppo opponents' ideas, you oppose each other. And it's important that we, in nowadays, in 21st century, we talk and we resolve our issues through talks and negotiations. Therefore, I think I see this uh, of kind of the first dialogue where the Taliban uh, and Afghan officials and, and po politicians among them, only two women, one of them being me, sit on a table and, and, and talk very difficult and uh, uh, opposing issue, issues that we used to challenge each other, and especially, you know, on the issue of women's rights. I think that's a positive step, but of course, here in Moscow, everyone tries to talk very nicely when it comes to implementation and enforcing those ideas back home. This is a matter that we women of Afghanistan and people of Afghanistan are concerned and uncertain about. And tell me though, Fauzia, how much is the Taliban a party and a partner that you, particularly as a woman, can actually negotiate with? Is this not the same Taliban that we knew uh, back in 2001 and prior to 2001 that wouldn't even allow a woman uh, to become literate. Is this a different party now that you feel you can actually make progress with negotiating for peace in the country? Well, when it comes to, uh, to the statements and to the official protocol, uh, as I said, uh, it is important and it's a positive step, the fact that I am sitting with Taliban on a table negotiating the facts, uh, the, the rights that I, have, I was deprived and with me, thousands of women of Afghanistan were deprived during the Taliban regime. Now we talk that, and it was of course uh, very good to hear from Taliban that they now changed, that they want women to go to school, they want women to work. As I said, these are nice statements you make in Moscow. Back home, if you look at the situation in the uh, areas which is controlled by Taliban, unfortunately, in majority of the areas, school for girls are closed so nice. it's important that taliban actually reinforce what they the statement they make the other thing i think important thing is we need some international guarantee i understand um you know the us is withdrawing in a willing to withdraw from afghanistan and i listening to president trump's state of union address they uh, he make a statement that uh, that the afghan and syrians don't fight i don't represent syrians but representing afghan people you know only in the past ter three to four years 60,000 Afghan troops were killed on the battlefield fighting with terrorists. So it's, I think it's not fair to our troops who are fighting in the front line to say that they are not fighting. We are fighting. We are in the full front of terrorism. For us to achieve a peace, we need some international guarantee. Right. Uh, then let me ask you finally, I mean, the, the Taliban is actually making certain demands. Maybe they call them recommendations, but they want all foreign troops to withdraw uh, from Afghanistan. Do you feel okay with that? If you get these certain international guarantees that you're asking for, would it be better for the country if all foreign troops were to evacuate Afghanistan? Well, eventually, as a patriot, that's what I want. But in the meantime, we have to live with realities. The realities of nowadays Afghanistan is that not only Taliban are the security risk. There are more than 18 terrorist groups in Afghanistan functioning that are security challenge. There are I, uh, ISIS, there are other Haqqani networks and other terrorist networks that are security challenge to our people. So leaving Afghanistan without a proper and responsible end, ensuring that Afghanistan is safe enough, I think it will backlash security security of the world and especially United States. Therefore, I think it's not a good idea to completely withdraw from Afghanistan given that, uh, you know, terroristic groups that are working in Afghanistan, not only Taliban but others. I think it's good to negotiate on some level of uh, compromise. It's for the mutual interest, security interest of both Afghanistan and the United States and the world to ensure that Afghanistan is safe enough. And from my perspective, living in Afghanistan all my life, I don't think it's safe enough at the moment that the international uh, community completely withdraw. Okay.